today we're going to be talking about dimensions. There's two types of dimensions. There's temporary and permanent. Temporary dimensions will appear anytime you select an object. So if we take a look at this dimension, we can see it's composed of witness lines, grips, the numerical value of the dimension, and this symbol here. This symbol allows you to change a temporary dimension into a permanent one. If we look over here at our witness line and grip, we can see that at the moment we're referencing the center line of this wall. If I wanted to change that, I would just left click once on the grip and it moves from the center line to the interior. Click again and we'll go from interior to exterior. If I wanted to move the location of this witness line from this wall to this grid line, I would simply left click, hold down my mouse, and drag to the new location. A cool feature about temporary dimensions is that if I were to change this value here to 28 feet, it would move the object I was referencing. I'm going to hit Control Z to undo. Reselect the wall. If I were happy with the location of this wall and I wanted to add this dimension made permanent, I would simply click here. As you'll notice, the dimension went from a blue line to a black line, and these tick marks indicate it's permanent. Now, if I wanted to go straight to making permanent dimensions, I could go to the Annotate tab, Align Dimension here, and I'm going to go ahead and dimension the four windows on the west side of my building from the center line of each. And then click once to place the dimension, escape to get it out of the command. Now you notice that the distances between each window is different. 18 feet between these two, 23 between these two, 24 between these two. I'd prefer that they were all equidistant from each other. I can make this happen by selecting the dimension, clicking right here on this EQ sign with the slash through it. If I lock it by clicking on the padlock here, these windows are locked equidistantly from each other. Hit escape, and there we have it. This has been CAD Teacher VDCI, Tips and Tricks for Dimensions. Hope you enjoyed.